What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Bonds Apartment official YouTube channel. I am Luke Taggart at Bonds Apartment on Instagram. Thank you guys again for uh, showing up for yet another video. So what is this video about? It is about the collection of Bond items that I have accumulated over the years. Um, this video was also made because of a lot of DMs and questions asking about what type of items I have in my collection. I used to post a lot about it when I first got started on Instagram, but not so much anymore. So I figured we would take a quick look um, in video form. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's take a look at what I got. So first off, we have James Bond from Quantum of Solace. We have James Bond from Dr. No. James Bond from The Spy Who Loved Me. James Bond from Goldeneye. James Bond from Spectre and the White Tux. Sean Connery, Goldfinger, and the White Tux. M from Goldeneye. Blofeld, You Only Live Twice. James Bond, White Tux from Octopussy. Le Chiffre from Casino Royale. Odd Job, Goldfinger. James Bond from Casino Royale at the end. Golden Girl from Goldfinger. Baron Semity, Live and Let Die, that's a cool one. Jaws from The Spy Who Loved Me. Eve Moneypenny, Skyfall. Honey Rider, Dr. No, classic. Odd Job from Goldfinger. Okay, up next we have a 1963 Aston Martin DB5 from Sunstar Models. It's a 118th scale, all metal. Another Aston Martin DB5 from Lorenzo at Omega Bond Watches. What up? On the left, the V12 Vanquish. And then on the right, the V8 from No Time to Die. Another Johnny Lightning set, the 1974 AMC Hornet, the 1964 DB5. This is the Skyfall DB5 with a tin collectible display. This is a Chevy Bel Air convertible, same line collectible display. Now we've got McKellen. This is a 10, uh, maybe not in the film, but rare because they don't make it anymore. The Blackwell Rum, of course. 007 edition. It's very, very good. Kina Lale from Casino Royale. Had to pick this up even before I could drink, so shout out to whoever got me that. This one's a tough one. So this is the 007 edition Belvedere Vodka. There's a few different versions of this, but this comes with that shaker on the left there. Obviously unopened. I don't think I'll ever open that, but uh, I had to freaking travel far and wide to find that. Next, we've got the gold keychain db5 keychain that's actually from a monthly subscription box along with these specter cufflinks came in that box as well and then these coasters these are also from that box um, you can see different uh, villain logos on these coasters so those are very cool this was a gift from a buddy of mine this is a silver 007 collectible coin Shout out to Mike Frawley. What up? Okay, so here you've got my little uh, way of celebrating the Bond community. So I started this very early on into the community. This is a picture frame of all the different stickers that I've collected from everybody else in the community. So you've got Mike at Living the Bond Life. Mine, obviously. You've got Lorenzo at Omega Bond Watches. You've got the James Bond Club from Deutschland. You've got Commando Bond, you've got that one Bond guy, uh, who else we got on there? We got uh, the Bond Brain, Quantum of History, SIS, formerly known as Q Branch, Ladies Who Bond, and uh, the Bond Armory, I believe. I got them all in there. Thank you to everybody who sent me those, of course. So up next, we've got some of the work from Billy's Bond Art. You can find him at Billy's Bond Art on Instagram. Um, this was actually a gift from Jake, my co-host at James Bond AU on Blunt Instruments. So thank you for that. That's the Skyfall, end of Skyfall painting there. And then next, this one I actually ordered myself from Billy. This is the Day of the Dead painting. This one's just awesome. And then uh, Billy was actually kind enough to send me this one as well of May Day. So thank you for that, Billy. Great things to have in your collection. Highly recommend so then next, we've got some of the Omega Lifetime magazines. These are pretty easy to get, depending on which one it is. The, the Bond ones are not as easy to find. 
um lorenzo once again sent me that one this one the omega ocean edition i got at the boutique here along with this omega lifetime from the boutique and then we've got some of the 007 cologne so this is one of the different colognes they all smell the same to me but uh here's another one seven intense and uh another one this is like the original one here they all smell very good but we've had this conversation on i believe the podcast before they don't last very long so smell good but don't last this is a funny one here so this is a fake omega planet ocean from casino royale um my father went to china for a business trip so i asked him if he could try to find one of these and he came home with um with this one so although it's not real very sentimental because uh it's from my father and it's also very cool because it's got a lot of 007 markings on it even on the inside on the strap and then in the face it says 007 then there's the 007 writing towards the bottom so this one's a pretty cool piece as well next this was also a gift from a friend of mine shout out to al this is the original motion picture soundtrack for goldfinger on vinyl need to get a record player so i can actually listen to this but uh there's that so we're getting into some of the magazines i've collected so these are these are fun to collect because um I don't know what it is about the U.S., but finding random James Bond stuff in the store is pretty damn hard to do. So these are something that you can find a little easier. So these are fun to collect. So this is a Life James Bond Edition magazine. This is the Ultimate Guide to Bond magazine. This is GQ with Daniel Craig on it, of course. Next, we've got GQ with Rami Malek on it. This is Total Film, the No Time to Die edition. Bond on Bond, the Roger Moore book by Roger Moore. This is a great one, too. Still pretty easy to find. I also know you can find some copies with his signature, so look for those. And then Cigar Aficionado with Sean Connery on the cover. And then, of course, the classic. A lot of us 90s kids have this James Bond, The Secret World of 007. Big Costco purchase back in the late 90s, I believe, maybe early 2000s. That was a huge part of my childhood, that book. So then lastly, we'll round it out with some of the watch stuff. So this was also a gift from Lorenzo at Omega Bond Watches. Luff watch strap, as you can tell, it's got Sean Connery's picture on there. Um, so this is a NATO for my Seamaster 300. Okay, and then lastly, we have my Omega Seamaster 300 Diver. The Quartz reference 2541.80 from Goldeneye. This is by far... My favorite piece in my collection and probably always will be, even if I had every watch, every car, you name it, this will probably be the number one piece in my collection. And we will have another video on that soon, specifically about my journey to getting this watch, why I wanted to have it, and um, you know everything it took to get it. So that is the Omega Seamaster 300 Diver. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching the video on my collection. Um, that should be the entire collection for now. I'm not sure if there's uh, anything I missed. Maybe a couple small things, but that is pretty much the entire collection that I have as of now. Like I said, some items in there from when I was a kid up until some items I got last week. So it's been fun sharing them with you guys. Thank you again for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.